Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. I know this is possibly past festive time, but I like it. Today I am sharing a new pen with you that is part of my collection. And it recently was released. It is a Mont Blanc. I'm sorry. And <laughs> for, there's a lot of people who don't like them. Uh, it was not inexpensive. It was a costly pen. I saved up for a while for this one and I sold a whole bunch of pens. So for me, it's worth it because I absolutely love it. And it's been superb to write with. This is the Mont Blanc Meisterstück Gold Trim 149 Calligraphy Curved Nib Fountain Pen. That is mouth, uh, mouthful. Blah, 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 blah. Mouthful. Let's do the packaging. I really don't even care about the packaging at this point. I just want to get to the pen so I can show it to you. Not the pen, the nib, because the pen is the pen. It comes in this box with curved lines that indicate what the nib can do. Interesting choice because the calligraphy edition was like a red black and then they went for like a green black. Anyway. It also is supported by this very boring clamshell box. So, so unthrilling. I, yeah, anyway, whatever. I don't care for the boxes and I don't typically keep them, but it came with this using your curved nib. So it shows you that by writing at different angles, you get different lines. And that is what I'm going to show you in the writing sample. So let me just clear off the desk. Let's look at the pen. It is a 149, so it's a larger pen. It's thick, kind of baseball bat-ish, but if it works for you, fantastic. It's very classic looking, like gold trim, black precious resin. It is approximately 850 US, depending on where you're from, where you're getting it. Um, like if you're paying VAT or not, you're looking at roughly 800 U uh, 850 US. So I bought mine from Applebaum. They have a Boston location. I have a, it's just pretty Austin, Austin, awesome. And I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really excited about this one. So it is just the 149. I am not enthralled by the 149, but I really love the nib. So there's really not nothing about the pen to me that if it was a normal nib that I would be like, oh, I have to get it. I buy these pens because of the nibs. So it has the, the precious resin star. It's got your clip. The clip is quite snug. Uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück engraved, no, uh, number 149 engraved on the middle of the three center bands. And it is stickered with the curved nib sticker. Uncapped, it is a piston filler, the ink window, is currently full so you might not be able to see it the nib is this curved nib so we'll look at it in a little more detail from the side but it is the it's large it's a large nib it has the single slit round breather hole 4810 engraved on it it's got Mont Blanc the gold hallmark and the very interesting curved nib design interesting choice but the tipping is where it's at so the tipping is kind of teardrop shaped, so it's kind of shaped like, kind of like that. And then the, the tip goes right through, uh, the slit goes right through the middle. And it is, it's a really cool writer. So it's, you can look at it from the side. It, it flares up a little and it's, um, and, it, and it, the tipping kind of comes together. So let's, let's just write, let's just write and we'll talk about it. First of all, it's deliciously juicy. And I am having an absolute blast with this nib, using it for lettering and playing around. It's just really right up my alley. So what we can do is let's do a normal angle. So a normal angle might be like around here. So we could say, I don't know, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, Mont Blanc. Meister Stuck 149. If this was rose gold trim, it would have been very exciting, but it's not. It is the curved 
nib. That was normal angle. So if we do, if we just look at it on the down strokes, it's like a round medium. If we look at the side strokes at a normal angle, like a double broad stub, but you can do this. You can write at a high angle and get something like that. You can write, so if we did a high angle and then we lower it a little and then a little more and then I think the broadest is very close to that. There we go. And you can do reverse writing. Very fun. I will say there are outstanding nibmeisters in the pen community who can recreate a similar nib, but they need the right amount of tipping to begin with. So it's not always possible and you need to have the tipping on the right nib that you want. It's possible. I have done a video with a Sailor Pro Gear Slim with an architect grind from Toronto Pen Company, which is very cool. And it has a similar feeling, but this nib is just so much fun. Like, it's really cool. I have, I have, I have architect nibs and I have similar nibs. I'm just, I, I'm just excited to share this with you. I think it's fun. It really works for what I do, which is a lot of hand lettering, a lot of doodling. Um, it's an expensive doodle pen, but whatever. So there's one option. Um, we can do this. I have to write at a high angle for, so you might not be able to see it until I'm finished. There are also incredible nibmeisters making nibs that can do stuff like this. So there's a lot of options, but maybe you just, maybe you just want this one and that's totally fine too. So, um, what was I going to do? I just really enjoy the versatility of this nib and I've been having a blast just like doodling and um, practicing my lettering and calligraphy. Uh, by the way, the ink is Mont Blanc Rose Burgundy. It's the Petit Prince. The Petit Prince. I think it's a nice option. And um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. It's really cool. Now, I have a friend who got one. His, the tipping on his is ever so slightly different. Like, the grind is ever so slightly different, but apparently, I mean, presumably, they are hand ground. So like any hand ground thing or handmade thing, there might be slight variation. I only have used these two and the like, they're pretty comparable. I wouldn't say one is like drastically different than the other. Um, I, until I am able to try a whole bunch more, I, I don't know what they're going to be like in terms of variation between nibs. But I'm really happy with mine and I'm having so much fun with it. I'm going to turn the page because I just want a new page. Yeah, I want a new page. So it's just, it's just a beautiful writer. And uh, like I said, it, the 149 pen itself, I'm not super crazy about. Uh, I buy Mont Blancs basically for the nibs. So that's what I'm here for. I buy a lot of pens for the nibs, really. So let's do some writing, more writing.
flat, all produced by one nib. Okay, let's go do some side writing and we'll come back and wrap up. I hope you had as much fun as I did making this video, watching this video, and I'm just really having fun with the pen. So I I just wanted to share with you, and that's all. That's that's all there is to it. There, I don't really, there, I got no vested interest otherwise. I just wanted you to have fun and see the nip. So if you did have fun and you would like to, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. You know the whole thing. It's like... I like to know that people are watching, otherwise there's no point in doing this, right? I'd probably do it anyway. It would just be much sadder than it already is, like talking to myself to a camera. Um, so yeah, if you did like it, please let me know and let me know what you think of the nib. I'm, I'm just curious. And if you would like to lend your support, I am online on the socials as Gourmet Pens and I am also on Patreon if you are so inclined. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I bid you adieu. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.